Finding the right products to dropship onto eBay can be really tough, but it is essential if you want to have a successful eBay dropshipping store. Luckily, we now have AI tools that can actually do this for us, and they're able to scrape websites like eBay and Amazon to find these winning products for us quickly every single day. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how that works. Now, when it comes to dropshipping on eBay, what you want to focus on is adding products into your store that already have a proven sales history, meaning that there are already people here on eBay who are purchasing that item or something very similar. So by using a tool, we are actually able to scrape all the sales on eBay and compare them with items on Amazon to actually come up with a list of different items that we're able to see in real time are successfully being sold on eBay that we can source from Amazon. And the tool we use to do that is called Zeek. So this is it right here. I'm logged into my account and there's a lot of different product research tools built into this. Most of them enable you to quickly go through different items that are selling well on eBay but it does have some sort of like AI bots built in that do the scraping for you, which really requires a lot less manual work for you. So for instance, everyone who logs in right here on the dashboard, you're able to see this section right here called trending eBay products. And this is showing you products that have good sales history over the last seven days and that you can purchase from Amazon. So for instance, we see that these nutrition bars, these like these protein bars right here, these have sold three times in the past week, five times in total, and we can source them from Amazon for a total profit of about $5 per sale. Now, what's really cool about this is that this is actually showing us recent information. So we're able to see that this is sold three times in the past week. That is really important because we want these items that have not only sold, but have sold recently. That way we know that they are popular right now. So a good example of this, let's say that there is an item we see it's selling really well or is sold really well. It's sold, let's say 200 times, but you look at the item and it's a Christmas tree. Well, those Christmas trees probably sold really well in December, but they're not selling so well in June or July. So, we want to see what's popular right now because it's not going to be as obvious all the time like it is with a Christmas tree. And that's what this software does. So for instance, I'm able to see right here that this pole saw, which is used for like trimming trees, this also has sold three times in the past week alone. And you can buy it on Amazon and you'll end up with about a $4.66 profit every time that it sells. Now, $5, $4.66 doesn't sound like a ton of money, but just remember this software found the item for us. All I have to do is click through and open it up on Amazon, add the product into my store, which I'll show you in a minute how to do, and it can continue to sell over and over and over again. So if it sells three times a week, well, that's about $15 profit. You get enough of those items into your store, you can see how this can quickly add up. The key with this really is adding more and more of these winning products in. That's why software like this is so essential because you wanna be able to scrape and find all of these products as quickly as possible. So here's another one right here. This one is sold three times in the past week for about a $4 profit. So this isn't the only scraper that Zeke has built in. I'll show you the other one, which I actually like a lot better because it gives you just a ton of information and you can really dial it down to get exactly what you are looking for. So this tool is actually inside the advanced tool section here on the left. And I'm going to click on where it says autopilot and I will create a new scan. And like I said, this really allows you to dial things in to get exactly what you want. So I'm going to give this one a name. I usually just put in whatever today's date is that way I'm able to quickly differentiate it from other scans and I'll start narrowing things down. So the supplier I want to use is Amazon. I could also use Amazon UK, Walmart or AliExpress though, but we're going to use Amazon because it's honestly a really good supplier to use, uh, not only because they have a lot of great products, 
but because there's a lot of automation that you can set up. You can actually set it up so that these products can automatically be ordered for you as well, which is again, something I'll show you in just a few minutes. Now you can also choose what category of items you wanna sell from. Quite honestly, I always select all of them. Now, some of these categories I may not wanna sell products from for various reasons, but I like to cast sort of a wider net in the beginning, and I can always narrow down the results later. So we'll do all categories for now. Under review count, what I'm looking for here are products that have at least some reviews on Amazon, but I don't want too many because I'm looking for newer products. So I usually put in here a max number of reviews of about 250 and a minimum of 50 uh, reviews if you wanna go a little bit lower, like even if you wanna start with zero, because again, you can always narrow the results later. So again, let's cast a little bit of a wider net. We'll start with zero in here. The best seller rank I'm going to leave alone though. I'm only going to use prime, prime only, and I wanna include similar items. So prime only, that means that the product we're looking for on Amazon is gonna qualify for Amazon Prime, which is what we want, so the items get to the customers faster. And we also wanna include similar items, and that will make more sense in a moment. Now, I only want items that have at least four stars, that way we know that customers are happy with the items. And I want a competition that is at most 15. That way we're making sure that we're not tapping into something or some market that's oversaturated. Now, number of sales. This is number of sales over this date range, which is 30 days. And I'm looking for at least four sales over the past month. That means one sale per week. So we'll start with that because again, we can always narrow it down a little bit more later. As for price, I want items that are at least $15. That way it's worth it for me to sell it. And the ROI, I don't care about so much for now. Okay, so that's it. And then I'll go ahead and click on create scan. And we'll spend, we'll wait a few minutes for that to work. You see it's pending right here. And now boom, it's complete. It usually is pretty fast. And it says it was able to find for us 200 products. So actually let's take a look at them right now. So if I click on the name right here, that will go ahead and pull it up. So what are we seeing right here? So in the left-hand column, we are seeing items that Zeke is able to tell are selling on eBay. And on this column, this shows us the item on Amazon. So a lot of times you're gonna find a direct match, meaning it's the exact same product being sold on eBay and Amazon, but it's also able to show us similar products as well. And this is actually probably a lot more powerful than you think. Because if you're able to find a similar product, that means you know the product is doing well because Zeke is telling you it's selling on eBay. But you're now introducing a new item onto eBay that very few other people are selling, but it's in a sort of niche that you know does well. So it's actually very, very powerful because it allows you to introduce those new items to the marketplace. So I love similar items. Then of course we get the eBay title, the Amazon title and the prices and things like sell through rate, success rate, number of sales, competition and profit. So all of that. So you see there's a lot of options in here and you can just kind of go through these and start to list some of these into your own store. But what I always look out for are these logos. This logo right here means that this is a Vero brand Basically, that means that you shouldn't sell this product on eBay. And it's nice that Zeke kind of gives you that warning so that you can say, oh, I'm just gonna avoid that. So anytime I see these, I just do not sell the product. It's just not worth it. But let me try to find some good ones in here. I like to always manually check them to make sure that they are good ones. So here's a good example right here. We have these tumblers right here being sold on eBay. You can buy the same thing on Amazon for much less. And this will give you about a $7.20 profit. So if you notice on the rightmost column, this is the ROI. It says the ROI is actually really low. And that's why I don't put in an ROI because even if the ROI is really low, I don't care as long as I'm making a decent profit on the item. And this is telling me I'll make $7.20 every time this sells. If this sells a few times a week, a few times a month, that adds up even though the ROI is low. 
So this is one that I can actually sell in my own eBay store. So if I wanted to sell, and again, this is one of the ones that's similar, not the exact same one. So all I have to do is click on the name on the Amazon column, and that will open it up on Amazon. There it is right there. And now I can list this into my own store. So to do that, I'm going to use this software right here. It's called AutoDS. And what this does is this lists items into my eBay store and also does all the rest of the automation. So for instance, I'll go ahead and click on add product, single product, and then I'll come back to the Amazon item and actually copy down this URL. And then I will plug it into AutoDS and click on edit now quick. So that will pull in all the information from Amazon, like the photos, the description, the title. It will automatically mark up the price of the item based on my settings. That way it will cover the cost of the item, taxes, shipping costs, which are gonna be zero because we're using Prime, and uh, profit as well. So all that's gonna be covered in the price. Only thing I really have to change here is the title. So I go ahead and delete the title given to us by Amazon. And I come back over here to Zeek and I like to come over to the title builder tool right here. And this is another tool that we can then use to help us build out a better title for this item. So basically what I can put in here is like Tumblr, right? And click on search. And what it's going to show us are what people search for when they're looking for a Tumblr. So we can see words like Tumblr, H2O, Quencher, Stainless, Flow State, Steel, 40 Ounces, Pink. All those words I would, I would throw into the title if they make sense until I reach the maximum, which is 80 characters. And then that would be a fully optimized, built out title. So I would go ahead and do that. But then after that, you, you pretty much don't have to change anything here. The product uh, information's there. The description is pulled in. We have all the images right here. If I wanted to sell all the colors, I could do that. Or if I just wanted to sell one, like the pink, I would just go ahead and delete the, the other colors here and just leave the pink one. Pretty much, it's just you plug in the URL, change the title, and then that's it. And then once I do that, I can go ahead and click up here on the top right where it says save and import. Now the really cool thing, let's scroll down, I'll show you this right here under monitoring. The really cool thing is that once I list this item with AutoDS, because I have these toggled on, if the price changes on Amazon, the price will actually be updated in my eBay store. And if the items go, I, sorry, if the item goes out of stock inside Amazon, it will actually go out of stock in my eBay store. And finally, if someone actually orders it from me, then the software will actually automatically order it from Amazon and have it shipped directly to the customer. So you see with this automation, it really takes care of a lot of the work for you. All you have to do is find the items, which Zeek makes it very easy to do, and throw them into AutoDS and let them pretty much take care of the rest. Now, if you wanna try AutoDS for yourself or Zeek, what I've done is I've put together a guide that goes over all the software I recommend for eBay dropshipping and why I recommend it. And there's also links in there so you can get a free trial of both of them or I think maybe the trial is just $1 so it's practically free. So you might as well try it out. If you wanna get that guide, it will be at the first link in the description down below. Just go ahead and download it. And also inside of that guide, I give you some additional tips to get started with eBay dropshipping that I've never shared here on YouTube. So definitely grab it, it's completely free and it's at the first link in the description down below. And I do believe that if you wanna be successful with eBay dropshipping, you really should be using this software because it not only streamlines the process, but it really helps you add a lot more of these items a lot faster. If you constantly had to be checking the price of things on Amazon and updating them on eBay or the stock levels, you wouldn't have as much time to do the product research. And product research, adding more products into your store, good products, that's the only thing that grows your store. That's the only thing that's going to make you successful as a dropshipper. So you don't wanna be wasting your time on all the things that AutoDS can do for you. And you want the actual product research 
to be a lot more streamlined so that you can add more of these winning products every single day. And this software allows you to do that. So definitely grab the guide down below, check out both Zeek and AutoDS so that you can grow your own eBay dropshipping store. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel because I make a lot of guides like this on my channel every single week. So make sure you definitely subscribe so you don't miss out on any of them. In fact, every single month I release a video where I reveal to you winning products that you can drop ship that month. So definitely subscribe so that you don't miss out on any of those. Then if you want a more in-depth guide into how to use Zeek, make sure to check out this video right here because this is one of my top videos about how to use Zeek. So definitely check it out right here and I'll see you there in just one second.